Uh, can I get a grande coffee with some steamed half and half? That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, good morning guys. So we are on our way to an estate sale right now. And uh, it is about 9 o'clock in the morning. Just got my Starbucks. And it's that same estate sale you guys saw in the last video in Chicago. And I couldn't pass it up. Last time we came home, we actually found an Elvis shirt that was uh, pretty rare and a bunch of other stuff that we looked up that was actually better than we thought. So Julie's staying home um, and I'm heading to that estate sale. But yeah, it's been, been a good day so far. I've been looking at the crazy game stock prices. I don't know if you guys have been following that, but I have a few people I know. Uh, a couple friends I know that have a little bit of stock in the GameStop and basically what's happening is it was $20 recently and it was like barely anything before that and now I've seen it go as high as like $350. So somebody if you put in 10, you know, if you bought 10 stocks of GameStop at $20, that's $3,000 right there and some people are flipping it like that which is crazy that's crazy money right there but yeah i'll show you guys around and uh this should be a good video all right we're almost there and we have about 15 minutes to go The streets look a little cleaner. Let's park a little closer this time because last time we had to walk a little bit. So I'm gonna get closer to the house. So just looking around here, a lot of the toys that I wanted, they already scooped them up. So a lot of people came on Friday. Alright, we're making our way up the narrow stairs into the dusty attic and there's a couple pressed steel toys that I'm hoping are still here because I really wanted to get those especially now with 25% off I think they're gonna be worth buying All right, these Lego cases down here, uh, $20 free shipping on eBay, but I'd have to get them for dollar max to make sense. Night without a head. This is interesting.
this one here looks like it's in mint condition and we I see a rusted out one sell for 60 plus so in this condition I can get a hundred I think I'm gonna pick this up and here's some giant dolls I don't know much about these if you do leave a comment down below cool colored plates there's an owl looks like Harry Potter owl uh, those are cool ooh Easter eggs hmm and there used to be some Jordan plates here and some bull stuff and looks like it all got scooped up on Friday or Thursday that looks like the Pacific Crest Trail maybe somewhere in California pretty cool VHS people even watch those anymore oh that's a good one it's a good movie nice clothes shoes snow it in John Wayne empty this person loved John Wayne who doesn't the nice thing about this estate sale is they only let like 10 people in because it's a smaller house so kind of free to roam around Mark's train, and then there's some other trains underneath. Oh, that's a pretty cool, that looks like an antique stove. And I actually thought about picking it up, but it was so heavy. Oh man, but it's awesome. Now I pick up LPs, but a lot of times on like Saturday, all the good ones have been taken. But I'm still looking through them. Maybe something cool will pop up and I can grab it.
This looks like art done by the owner, and I had to pick this up. John Wayne again. Don't let the bastards get you down. Now there's a white ceramic tree and the vintage ones go for good money but that one's like a newer style so it's maybe worth about 30 bucks but I didn't pick it up. I want but I always forget. I told my daughter she lives in the city she needs one of those also shops. This is also a flag holder. Okay. Tell this gentleman right here. This is also a flag holder. This goes with the eight. For this? Okay. Nice. And, uh, huh? I'll tell you more about it. Uh, so this guy right here is a kite. Um, we're going to still use this to pull stuff around. So if you want, I could wait to purchase this. But I just want to get these knocked out of the way. Okay, this is 10 bucks. What about the stuff? an interesting coffee sign. Looks vintage. TV screens. Ah, oh, there's a little dog with a fire hydrant. Mm, that's empty. Let's take a peek outside. After we look at this cupboard. I love these old neighborhoods. Got the garages in the back. Oh! That's cool. That's a nice wicker chair. And there's a bunch of people checking out. And it's my turn in a few. And I can head out. All right, guys, 10.50 now, and I think we had a pretty successful day at the estate sale. Um, picked up uh, quite a few different items, and people are walking in trying to get into the estate sale, and it looks like you only have to sign up online, so the only way to get in is you have to sign up the day before or in the morning. So right now, there's a bunch of people waiting in cars, and uh, there's just no way for them to uh, get in. So people are walking into the door, and they're walking back out. So that's just the system they have to have with uh, what's going on around just as a precaution. People have to sign up early. They, this particular estate sale can't do uh, sign up sheets at the front of a door. But yeah, let's go check out some more stuff. Maybe go by the lake. Not really sure yet, but uh, don't really feel like going home just yet. We do have a snowstorm on the horizon that's going to come. So I'd like to get a walk in before that. And the next part of my segment is going to be me driving to Evanston and then going for a hike and showing you the lake and Evanston. So if you're not interested in that, skip to part 2148 of this video to just see the items that I purchased. Alright, so we are in Skokie right now and we're heading to Evanston. And Skokie is a pretty nice... Um, nice little suburb of Chicago it's got houses here it's got like apartment buildings all over the place so it's it's definitely good it's about 15 minutes from the lake 
and then Evanston basically sits right on the lake so it's probably one of my favorite neighborhoods because you got the lake pathways there and all that stuff People use those little shopping carts to get their groceries. You see those a lot in city. Uh, little shopping carts or a bike with like a cart on it. It's just a lot of times people don't need to have a car here. So that's a lot of money you're saving. I mean, there's another gentleman right there. A little shopping cart and you just wheel your stuff home and you don't have to drive anywhere, which is pretty cool. And we see the lake peeking out right there. All right, guys, here's the lake view. We'll check that out. And there's a pull-up bar over there. Somebody knocking out a set of pull-ups. I'll probably do the same later on. There's five, that's good. Got Chicago right there. That's pretty cool, a nice little modern house. Retro furniture in there. This is what used to be there before, like an old 1910s kind of house. I do like the modern though, it's pretty nice. All right, guys, I don't know why I still have this on, but all right, guys, I am back at the car, and one thing I love about coming to Evanston is everyone's, like, walking around. People, for whatever reason, I guess it's because they live by the lake or people are really outdoorsy here. Whenever I come here, people are out. Even if it's freezing outside, people are running, cycling, um, doing outdoor stuff, hiking, 
So that's kind of like I've always it's been my dream to move to Evanston or near closer to the lake, but it's just so expensive to buy anything here. Um, but yeah, this is by far like my favorite place to be at. This is like my happy place. And uh, yeah, the more I come here to hike and walk around, it's just, I feel like I'm at home. Um, I guess dream home to live here one day. But yeah, this is beautiful. I love it. And uh, sorry, my camera died. I was trying to show you more architecture over there. But uh, yeah, this is the park here and it's all snowed in. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna head home and stay tuned. I'll show you guys uh, the stuff uh, that I bought. All right, what's going on guys? I am back at home. Let's go over all the items that I got and they end right here, right where that box is. Those two trucks I got a couple days ago at the same estate sale on Thursday and today is Saturday. And I picked up this Ford uh, Super Duty F-Series owner guide. And these are actually pretty uh, useful because people that have the car might want this to go with their car. So it's from a 1998 Super Duty F-Series. I got this for a dollar. Should be able to get 20 for it. It's got the little, uh, little book here and all the little information inside. So guys, definitely keep an eye out for this. This is um, any kind of cars, just look them up online. People sometimes get a, a car at an auction or something and they want to have this with their vehicle. So if you can get them for a couple dollars, you can get 20 plus for them. This is a box I got. It had a bunch of cassettes inside. I actually did not even look these over, but uh, he gave me all of this for $3. And I can get 12 plus for this box. It's in really nice condition by Steelmaster. And uh, yeah, and it's got a bunch of cassettes. So I'll look these up. They're probably not worth anything, but it doesn't hurt to look up, you know, different titles. I guess this is a river walk. There's different cassettes they have. We got uh, Chicago Bears football, and I actually started pumping it up with this pump here, and the valve fell out, and it was kind of disappointing. Um, but a collector can still display this. It's in good condition other than that, and it's the 1985 Chicago Bears World Champions, and as we all know, they have a hard time getting into the playoffs or anything now, so uh, Bears fans love this kind of memorabilia because it's their last taste of victory before, you know, the Chicago Bulls came out. So Bears collectors love 1985 um, stuff from, from when we won. Um, here is was the owner's art. And I paid a dollar for this. I thought this was actually quite good. And um, this is an, they had an electric company, so they service the Chicago area. Um, Chicago suburbs in the Chicago area. So this is a pretty cool little piece from 1992. Another art piece by the owner, I guess. And this is their logo. And they actually had a huge sign, huge company sign like this, but I guess somebody must have bought it because I did not see it. But this is a nice piece. I can keep this for myself or maybe see how much I can get something like that. People collect, you know, different art, but it was a cool little pickup. I picked this up. We pick up kids' books. This I couldn't really look up anywhere. It's stencil art for little folks. Just an old book, and um, it has different stencil things you can draw. You can make a clock. You can make an elephant, flower, a little man riding a donkey, a boat. Um, that looks like a little cabin out in the woods. A dog, a giraffe. Just a bunch of different stuff. So this could be worth something. I paid a dollar. Actually, I paid two dollars for this. People collect this vintage stuff, so I picked this up. Then we were going back and forth about the price on this, and I was just telling him that the trains are not in the greatest condition. Um, there's a Mark's train box here and it's not in the best condition. So I have to look over all this, maybe piece it out. It's, um, it's not like something that's easy to sell, but 
Maybe I can test these out. I'll have to look through them. I have some more Marks trains somewhere. I just gotta look through all of them. And yeah, they're worth something. Got a little Conrail piece here, some tracks. It's an old set here. So I definitely pick up old train sets. And then what I liked in this buy here, we ended up settling on $35 for everything. Um, what I liked here is the Army, and this is made by Lifelike, and the Army sets are pretty collectible. Um, it had like this tank here. So something like this, you can maybe get 30 bucks, just depending on which one it is. So what, if I, I usually pick it up if I can get a couple items that will get me my money back, and then the, like a bunch of other pieces are going to be profit. Then I pick it up because it's going to take me some time to look over um, all of these army sets. Like this right here could bring in um, 35 maybe 40 bucks. I got to look it up, but it's a U.S. Army machine gun type of thing. It's still in good condition, even though it was all kind of like just out here in this box. This is a little like a fruit stand or a little, a little shed, a little work shed. So people, you can buy these in lots and part them out. Um, as you can see, you know, this was a set at some point. And this is kind of cool. It's got the U.S. Army train engine. This I can test out. I just have to set up my rig. So, yeah, you just, you know, stuff like this, you just want to, um, Toys R Us, you just want to look through them and see if, you know, if it's worth your time because tracks, everything you can separate, you know. These are little uh, little mini soldiers, so this could be worth something. These are actually micro machines. Well, there's some micro machines, like that's a micro machine right there. That's probably a micro machine too. So those are worth some money. And yeah, I'll look over that. And uh, I actually got this case too. This was in there for free. So you can use this as storage. Um, this would actually be nice if we go to the flea market to use it there. Then I picked up this Nylant um, crane digger, and I don't know if it works or not. I have to like mess around with it, um, but I'll probably just sell it as is. And it was 25% off, so I paid like, I think I got this one for 30. Um, and it's in pretty decent condition. A new one sold for 200 with the box. So for 30 bucks, I couldn't pass that up. Then I got this steel carrier. Um, I think I paid like 40 for this and I had to clean it up. And somebody who, you know, is looking to pair this up with like a truck or put some farm equipment on there, they'll buy it. Then here we have this Silver Mountain Express. This is by Marks. So anything made by Marks is pretty good. And might have to sell it as is. Actually, I can clamp that stuff on, so it's not in bad condition. Um, I just have to look over it. And then here, I'll have to open it. One second. All right, this is a nice piece. I actually paid 40 for this. They wanted 60. This is made by Franklin Mint. And they make pretty good stuff. Some people like them, some people don't. It's in great condition with the box. 1989 Franklin Mint Precision Model. And it's actually a 1933 Dysonberg SJ20 Grand Model. And this was like, in their prime, in, that, in those years, this was like the top car to have. So as we can see the engine, you got the suicide doors here. This is something you'd see on like a Rolls Royce. You got the suicide doors here, the trunk opens up. So yeah, it's in great condition. I've seen one sell for like over 80. They're all over the place, but since I have the box and the packaging, I can probably get 80 for this, so this would be a good little sale. They had a bunch of other Franklin Mint models, but I just didn't pick them up because you can only make like maybe 20 bucks on them, maybe less, and I don't wanna deal with that. And last but not least, I got the Super Duty F350, I paid 10 for this. I think I can get like 30 for this. And again, this is gonna be easier to deal with than like trying to package uh, 
Franklin Mint car with all these details and stuff like that. So I picked this up. It's in a box, packaged and everything. And uh, yeah, I think if they had a 50% off, I would have grabbed more of those Franklin Mints because they had a bunch of them there. But yeah, this is the whole buy. I hope you enjoyed this kind of video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll check in with you guys later. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye.